I was never very good at school. I always bunk. I, I bunked off that much, mate. That the teacher said they couldn't predict me predicted grades. Like one kid, he was, he was called Boyd, and he couldn't even spell his own surname. He had one an E in between the Y and the D, so it was always Boyd. So he was an idiot, mate. And I had to sit next to him and everything because seating plan and that and register. And he and he used to put like smack and like pills in me drink. It's just an attention seeker. And then one time, after lunch, I found out he put ganja in me sarnies. So I was in chemistry just off me face, mate, like... It needs to mate, do you want to go home and sleep? No, 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 mate, mate, mate let's stay go, in your bed. Go home and sleep no. if you want to sleep. And then, and then I was like, oh no, this has gone too far now, mate. It's too, too much drugs now. So I just said, right, I'm going to have to talk to talk to Frank. So I talked to talk to Frank. And he said, listen, Michael, mate, just... just Stop doing the smack, hand your CV into Cassidy's and just leave it. So I hand him a CV into Cassidy's. Wayne, when I started, Wayne said, Wayne said, listen, if you're going to work here, you can't be doing drugs. So I said, all right, then I'll stop. So I stopped me. And then, so just, that's it, yeah, so stop. But. Does Shane know about when you were on drugs? Yeah, yeah, he does, mate, but he doesn't like talk about it much. So probably best just to keep still me. What about when Michael started using drugs? What? Ah! Ah! Grab me! Shane, grab, grab me! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! Grab me! Ah! Ah! Told me you were doing a documentary about Wonga.com and how it ruins people's lives. Been hard, like, drugs in it. It's one of them in me, so.